Hello trainers and welcome to another exciting episode of the Pokemon Safari Guide. Today I will be your guide and I will be demonstrating to you the usefulness of one of the biggest uh, new meta Pokemon that we've seen since the Isle of Armor update. Um, this Pokemon has become a nightmare in competitive gameplay for a lot of reasons. Um, but we'll get into that. Cinderace, whenever I first started playing with him, was pretty lackluster for my first playthrough. I always choose the fire starters, and he was alright. But the more that I played with Cinderace, the more that Cinderace has became one of my favorite starters, if not the favorite starter, over Empoleon and Torterra. Um... So, without further ado, Galar number 006 and National number 815, Cinderace. Alright, on the left you see the non-shiny sprites, and on the right the shiny sprites, as per usual. Cinderace is known as the Striker Pokemon. It evolves from Reboot at level 35, which evolved from Score Bunny at level 16. Reboot is always a funny Pokemon name to me. It sounds like a Canadian saying rabbit. Its egg group is field and human-like. It was first introduced in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so it is the newest generation of Pokemon, and its height is 4 foot 7, which I believe is also the exact same height as Quagsire. However, it only weighs 72.8 pounds. Its gender ratio is 87.5% male to 12.5% female. And it is only one type, fire, but there should be an asterisk there because of its ability, which we will get into. Fire type, its weaknesses are to water, ground, and rock, and it has resistances to fire, grass, ice, bug, steel, and fairy. Six resistances, not bad. Cinderace is also able to Gigantamax, which I have a photo of that in the bottom right hand corner. So, because it's a new Pokemon, it only has two Pokedex entries, although it does have Gigantamax entries. It juggles a pebble with its feet, turning it into a burning soccer ball. Its shots strike opponents hard and leave them scorched. In shield, it's skilled at both offense and defense, and it gets pumped up when cheered on. But if it starts showboating, it could put itself in a tough spot. Uh, the Gigantamax Pokedex entries are not terribly uh, entertaining, so we'll just skip past those. But Cinderace does have a base stat total of 530, which is pretty good, pretty average for starter Pokemon. Uh, with an attack stat of 116 and a speed stat of 119, so he's very fast, pretty high attack, and is very useful. The abilities, uh, the typical Blaze, which all fire type starters have as their regular ability, it powers up fire type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. I believe whenever it falls to 10% or below, fire type moves get a boost to damage. And then its hidden ability, which has really made this Pokemon shine in competitive gameplay and is the reason why it is so hard to counter and why it does so well on so many different teams, is Libero. It changes the Pokemon's type to the type of the move it's about to use. So if Cinderace uses High Jump Kick, he turned into a fighting type move. This means that all of his moves have have stab, regardless of which move he's using. And it also means that you can use his moves defensively. That is, if you know that you're about to get hit with a rock type move, you can use high jump kick, turn into a fighting type, and have a resistance against that rock type move. So this is the libero standard build. On the left, you have the level 100 Cinderace, and on the right, the level 50 for stat differences. Uh, the item, you can do a variety of things. Heavy Duty Boots um, is useful just because 
of the move Court Change. Court Change is one of Cinderace's unique moves and basically it moves hazards on your side of the field to your opponent and hazards on your opponent's side of the field to you. Uh, whether it's Tailwind, Stealth Rock, Spikes, uh, Sticky Web, you basically you just switch sides of the field. Um, however, the Heavy Duty Boots help him switch into Stealth Rocks and not take damage. Um, and then again, that ability Libero. Sucker Punch, um, this is a great move because it has priority, so you're going to outspeed Dragapult. And that's basically one of the reasons to have it. Pyro Ball, um, you're going to want this for whenever you Gigantamax because he has a very special Gigantamax move, which we'll get into. High Jump Kick, you can run Low Kick here, but the Gigantamax um, Max Fist won't do as much damage. Um, but it is less risky to run like low kick. Uh, the focus is using Libero both offensively and defensively. Uh, G Max Fireball, which we talked about before, is unique to him. It's unique to him using a fire type move. And this move can be used on the target regardless of its abilities. So if there's an ability out there that would cancel this move out for whatever reason, then um, you know it ignores abilities such as like uh, for example Snorlax's ability to reduce damage from fire type moves thick fat alternative items you can use life orb or expert belt for more damage you can also use different moves um, iron head taunt low kick u-turn and bounce all very useful moves for cinderace um, to add a little bit of of type spread depending on what your team needs and depending on what you think your opponent's going to bring. U-turn also just typically a very useful move for you know switch in get the court change off U-turn out um, save him for you know another day. Uh, max attack max speed you're going to want to run jolly on Cinderace unless you know that your opponent's going to be slower than you then in that case you're going to want to run adamant but typically run run jolly because you might outspeed somebody that thinks they don't need jolly and you might outspeed another cinderace because of this but yeah that that's pretty much the entire build um, you pretty much just take advantage of his ability to change typing um, it's pretty unique although Greninja does something similar almost identical actually and Keekleon does also something similar but not the same so yeah it's very fun to use um, but it's also a little bit risky but as far as starters go he has one of the best builds of any of them this has been a product of couch pilot games you can follow us on twitter and instagram at couch pilot games or you can join us at facebook for all things dealing with couch aviation you can also join our Facebook group, the Pokemon Draft League, where you can talk to our trainers and pilots and just get in touch with um, our community. There will also be updates and postings on our Facebook groups, and you can even win shiny Pokemon through promotions. So it's just a good way to stay connected and to um, be aware of everything that's going on within our organization. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Um, we just want to keep producing these Pokemon videos so that you guys can learn about new Pokemon that you can add to your team. Thank you.